Okay. So this is the uh, NH Research 9200 battery test system, which is a bidirectional DC supply. And to turn it on, there are two switches. Uh, one that says on standby. Another one is the power module one breaker in the bottom. Uh, so if you look in the manual, it says to turn this switch on, and then within like 10 seconds to turn the breaker on. So I'm going to push that on, and then pull the breaker on all the way to the top. And in the top, you see there's a, a Dell uh, rack mount server computer in the top. And that's what moves up with the screen. It takes a minute to move. Okay, now the you can see Windows has already started. As soon as Windows starts, it'll automatically boot up the power monitor uh, from NHR. It's their software to go with this load. And you can see the uh, three meters, uh, voltage current and power. Uh, and then this energy portion is for battery testing. It'll keep a log of kilowatt hours and uh, time on test. So the first thing I want to show you is this plug. Um, this is a uh, Anderson Power Products plug, but it actually has three circuits in it. There, so there's the two main uh, power circuits, uh, plus and minus, the biggest uh, plus and minus on the label. And then there's a uh, EXT sense uh, for external sense. And then there's another one for interlock, it's a INTLK. Uh, so the INTLK is uh, it's basically a jumper. And it, it's basically going to tell the unit that the plug is attached. Um, and that allows it to disconnect the output when the plug isn't attached. The other one is an external sense. And uh, if your power supply uh, was in like another room and you wanted to test down the hallway, you could run a parallel uh, sensor wire uh, down the hall in parallel with the main power cable and then you would be able to measure with uh, pretty good accuracy the terminal voltages in the other room and the unit would compensate uh, for that voltage drop across the main power cable. Uh, so the external sense, it's right here, uh, so you don't have a long cable. So I've just made a jumper between the main power cable and the external sense. So there's two little jumpers inside this plug for the external sense wire. Okay. Um, Basically, if you try to enable the output without the plug connected, it'll throw an error. Uh, and we'll get to that. And I'll leave it plugged in. Okay. Uh, when you first set up, or we'll first load the software, um, the first thing you have to do is uh, click on More in the corner, and then uh, Set Battery Voltage. Battery Detect Voltage, sorry. All right, it's gonna say 30 volts. That basically means that the unit isn't going to turn on until the terminal voltage is uh, higher than 30 volts. Uh, it's basically so if you want to test a battery, um, it won't try to discharge the battery until there's a battery present. Uh, we're not testing batteries, so we can just set it to zero volts. Okay. And, uh, all right. So the next thing we can do is click on slash off. And now it's in standby. All right. And then you can push on settings. And you have a couple options. You have standby, charge, discharge, and battery. Uh, charge is going to present a voltage supply. Uh, discharge is going to be a sink. A battery is going to be a sink or a source uh, with an internal battery model uh, with a series uh, resistance. Uh, 
So for this one, we just want to uh, make a, a DC supply. Uh, so we'll do the charge. Okay, and we get a max voltage, a max power, max current, and the resistance. So we can we can set an internal resistance. Just leave that to zero. Uh, max voltage. Um, if there were a battery present, then the terminals would be the battery voltage. And when you were charging, it would stop once it reaches the max voltage. Uh, for our case, we just want to set the terminal voltage, uh, say, 20 volts. Okay. And then uh, put a max power, uh, say, 100 watts. And this is in kilowatts, so you need to put 0.1. Okay, max current will be 5 amps. Okay, and then if you hit OK, then the charge light will come on and your terminals will be 20 volts. Okay, so that's if you want to use it as a supply. If you want to use it as a sink, then you can do the discharge. And you get the same settings. And the min voltage is basically uh, under voltage cutoff. So uh, for the battery case, it's going to discharge the battery down to a certain voltage and then stop. Uh, for our case, uh, if the load is too high and the output terminals drop, uh, it's going to do an under voltage cutoff and stop, stop the load. So the min voltage, you can set it to a value lower than your bus voltage. Okay. Uh, max current uh, and the max power are going to, those are going to be your uh, settings as to whether you want it in constant current mode or constant power mode. Basically, whichever one is the first to hit the limit, uh, that's what mode it's in. It's not like the BNK where you have different settings. Um, so if the, if the constant power set or max power setting is much higher than what the bus voltage times the current is, it's going to be limited by the max current. If it's the other way around, then it's going to be a constant power load. Okay. That's all I have to know. <laughs> okay. Now that it's uh, at the home screen. We can enable the output. Uh, we've already done the set battery voltage so we can turn it on. Push on off. All right, it says battery not detected. Output relay is open. Uh, that means that the, this setting went back to its default. Set it back to zero. Okay, let's try it again. I have to clear, use it, push the clear button. And on off again. Okay, now we're on. Standby. Uh, right now we're going to do a uh, charge. Let's do 10 volts again. Max current. Oh yeah. 100 volts. Okay. So now we're at 10 volts. But what if we want to do a pulse train from 10 volts to 15 volts and back to 10 volts? Uh, in three second intervals. Uh, we can set that up in a macro. So push more. Do the create or edit macro. Okay. So then you see the insert row, delete row, delete all rows, uh, end in standby, uh, and then this command and data. You click command, you'll see a list. Uh, set slew rate, set to off, set to standby, set charge. Set discharge, set battery, wait for SLU, wait for value, and wait for time delay. Uh, so we want to do uh, charge mode at 10 volts. So set charge. Okay, and we see the same setting uh, as we had before. So it'll go to this setting during this time. Okay, so it'll set that value, and then we want to wait three seconds. So wait for time delay. Push on seconds. And up to three. 
Okay. And then uh, set the charge. This time, 15 volts. Watts. Okay. And then you want to wait three seconds again. All right. And then um, I'll show you how to loop it in just a second. So this is sufficient to make a loop. Click OK. Uh, now this uh, macro button is highlighted, start macro. Uh, but we also have loop macro. So let's click on loop. You see the X. And then click on start. So you can see macro running with the total time. And you can see the output voltage change from 10 to 15 volts. In three second intervals. Okay. And this works the same for, for the discharge. Uh, you can do the same thing in the macro. So let's hit stop. And then it says uh, macro ended after 29 seconds and it ended in state charge. Uh, we don't want to go back to charge, so close and set to standby. Okay, now we're back in standby mode. Uh, we can uncheck loop. And if you want to do a, a loading pattern, um, you can go back to edit, and instead of charge, you can do uh, discharge, and then uh, set the settings you want, um, and the value, for the time delay will be the interval where it stays at that value. And you can uh, get creative with your waveforms. You can do sinusoids if you want, or uh, triangles, very flexible. Okay, when you're ready to shut down the device, you can go to, uh, make sure it's in like standby or so nothing is running. Uh, click on more again. Uh, click on exit slash shutdown, choose shutdown, uh, exit will just go back to Windows, choose shutdown, then it will shut down the PC in the top, and once the screen goes blank, turn off the top switch and the bottom breaker, and that's all.